Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to beautiful Japan. We are currently in Tokyo, in Shibuya Crossing, one of the busiest intersections of the world. And we're ready to explore this dynamic country. We have two weeks, two G classes. We're ready to explore the technology, the culture, the history, and the beautiful landscape. Are you ready? Because I am. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're in Kanda Myojin. I'm probably not pronouncing that perfectly, but uh, the cars are about to get blessed, which is a very traditional process that happens in Japan. Alright guys, so we are Rapungi Hill. Rapungi or Rapungi? Rapungi. 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 Rapungi Hills. Alright guys, so we are in Rapungi Hills. It's a beautiful area. There's a nice garden here. And Max is currently talking to a local photographer by the name of Take. I'm really curious to know what they're talking about. Come along, let's see what's happening. Yeah, this is Take. He's an awesome photographer and he's from the north of Japan and he's doing landscape photography but in a completely different context than you would think now. Oh, awesome. So, That's yeah. amazing. Well, I'll let you guys carry on. Then. All right. So, how would you describe your photography? I step into nature and I like to capture all kinds of living creatures. And I heard you have a really specific concept like life and death. What is your motivation for this subject. Nature isn't just life. If you just capture life, you may capture it sparkling. But if you also capture death, the other side of the coin, life stands out further, and death on the other side as well. So this gives us a deeper and broader view on nature. So right now we are at the top of Rapungi Hills the Observatory that overlooks the entire city. The city just extends for miles and miles. It's it's absolutely incredible. It's crazy as a landscape photographer to be in this kind of jungle, this skyscraper jungle, just endless until the right. Can you do a time lapse? I got this remote, you just need to set the time. One shot, five seconds. And here we go. I need to send it to my girlfriend. <laughs> You're not recording. Yes. <laughs> I was gonna try and open the door with the hotel key. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just woke up at 3 and we're at Lake Tanuki right now. Mount Fuji is just there on the other side. We're waiting for the sun to start to kind of show up.
so we are on the top of the Mount Fuji. Unfortunately, today is a bit cloudy, but we used the drones and we got an amazing pictures of the tip of the mountain with the, all the clouds that is are surrounding them. Is a that's an amazing place. So we're in the trunk of the car trying to get really cool shots of the G Class. Um, it's winding road, so we're trying to stay as <laughs> as well situated as possible here. On the other side. Uh, come up as fast as you can. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Today was a lot of fun. We got to play around with the axles here, um, which is really nice to controls, especially if you're going really steep or if you're going into really tight bands. Uh, there's rock formations and you, be, you have to be very careful with how you approach it. Izu, we're on our way. If we don't get stuck in a rainstorm, it looks like it might drizzle a little bit. See you guys in Izu. the most unimaginable weather conditions right now there's a rainstorm happening in Izu back to Max for the 411 on traffic you can head up okay uh... everyone really needs a good videographer with them this guy's been recording us the entire time and I want to introduce him to you. What's up, Carlos? Hey, how are you guys? How's it going, man? Really good, really good, yeah. Carlos, where are you from, buddy? I'm from Germany. Having a good time with these two guys, with Alan and Max here in Japan. Really, yeah. really good. What's been the highlight of your trip so far, <laughs> other than this rain? Oh, I was hard to tell, so many good things. Um, I don't know, I, I really like Mount Fuji. You know what, that's, that's probably one of the highlights of mine too. I, seeing Mount Fuji, I feel like we've always like seen Mount Fuji in pictures growing up. And yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're getting so drenched right now. <laughs> One thing I love about Japan is that nothing is the way you imagine. At first you might think it's a straight highway with just a bridge, but no, they're like, no, we'll just make a, an awesome spiral highway, which probably took a long time to engineer and structure. 